What's up everybody, Badass here with another Starfield video. And in our last video, we saved New Atlantis from a Terramorph attack. We got the three factions to agree and give us the codes for the Armistice Archives so that we can continue our Terramorph research and prevent future outbreaks. And we also became citizens of the United Colonies. So I would say it was a pretty eventful um, episode, pretty eventful chapter. And hopefully this one is too. Um, if y'all enjoying the videos, remember to please drop a like. And if you want more, if you need more, subscribe. Let's do it. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and continue on with the, I believe they call the Vanguard missions. And um, let's go ahead and see what it entails and what it's called. The Devils You Know. Here we go. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and proceed uh, to our meeting in subsection 7. Uh, someone's requested to speak with me, but Deputy McIntyre won't tell me who. She said I could find them down in subsection 7. Let's go ahead and get on over there. Let's get back into the menu here. Let's see who wants to talk to us. Mass District. Alright, we're headed where we need to go. Subsection 7. Sounds like the place to be. If you are free soon, could we talk? Yes, you need me? She wants to talk. Let's see what she wants to I have to been say. curious. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way. But that experience does not demand that you stay. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. Why do you stay? It does seem to be a unique situation with serious consequences. That is what keeps me here as well. My past is complicated. And anyone in Constellation will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance <coughs> of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. Very true. This group of people, who by rights would never associate with one another, has come together for a common cause. That is impressive on its own, before considering the magnitude of the work they have undertaken possibilities it holds. Fun is not a consideration. I am not saying I am incapable of it. It just should never be a priority over other things. Of course. When I first came to New Atlantis, I was shocked at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds, all seemingly without concern for anything around them. Complacent. Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. They do not know how good they have it. You believe I am too quick to judge? Perhaps that is so. Purpose cuts through adversity. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. Okay. I have. There have been times where I wondered whether it was worth it. My family is unique within the settled systems. I grew up outside the bounds of the United Colonies, or the Free Star Collective. My parents, and their parents before them, did not believe anyone outside our family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure, how existence without ties to others is challenging in space. They believed, and still do, that 
anyone who was not part of our family did not share our values, our goals, and was ultimately a potential threat. My time in the settled systems has mostly led me to agree with them. It has certainly proven valuable. Saved me. A few times, without question. For now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause and have enjoyed our time together. Thank you. Okay, let's move on. Are we at all surprised that the UC has such a massive space dedicated to secrets? Okay. Logging authorized entry. <laughs> Unsealing access. You may proceed down the corridor. Okay. But there are no additional visitors. Friends gonna have to wait out here. Very well, I will wait. You go on. Oh, didn't even see him. Alright, cool. That's who was talking. Okay. Welcome, Captain. Please, come down and approach the intercom. You and I should chat. President Abeyo was kind enough to give me a few files to peruse. Quite the series of accomplishments you've managed. But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy, lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get. Which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? Perceptive. I like that. I'm Francois Sanon, but most know me as... Oh, Avictus. shit. I was an admiral during the Colony War. One of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes, but the previous regime deemed me... too valuable to simply discard. So they put me here. <laughs> Okay. A sacrifice Interesting twist. on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. One final act of rebellion by the leadership that lost the colony war. The trial was authentic. I faced tribunal with dignity, but my execution staged. A lethal injection that was anything but. Hmm. The cabinet at the time, long gone now, wished to keep me on as an advisor. And considering the other option, I was in no place to refuse. So I elected to trade my freedom for my continued existence. But such is the life of a soldier. Mm hmm very astute. That's my daughter. My progeny. You've been working alongside. Has she shared with you the nature of our little family? Yep. Uh, did she? So willing to trust Hadrian. I never did succeed in driving that out of her. Hmm. Our relationship has always been a challenging one. The Major was born to become a great leader, carry on the legacy I established, and was given all the finest training to support it. And she excelled. But the universe cut all that short. Now, though, it's placed even more crucial work in front of the two of you. 
And I think I have a part to play in helping you accomplish what you've set out to do. After some long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their... recovery teams. Helping them gather intelligence on, locate, and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are. But in exchange, I need something dealt with. There is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlaise. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colonies' more problematic lines of research. Hmm. Mech weapons were his specialty. <clears throat> if it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him. However you're able. Okay. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. He's been hiding around the world of Etheria, Wolf System. There is a star station in the vicinity, the Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find oh, our okay. man. Okay. All right. So we're going to do the optional, which is speak to Deputy McIntyre, I think her name is. Yeah. Captain, did your uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. Mm-hmm. Surprised me too when I learned it. But the uh, prisoner has proven useful over the years and kept far from any major decision making. But oh, I do think it's worth re emphasizing. No one else can know about this. All right? Good. Because bringing this up to the outside world would create the unfair appearance, Captain, that you're unhinged. And that's not a good look for any of us. Now, was there something in particular you needed to discuss about what we were just discussing? Then I'll bid you good day, Captain, and remind you of the importance of discretion. Oh, were there other items you wanted to discuss? Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question. But bringing him to justice... He's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. What's being offered in return? Really? 
he found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but okay. it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Sweet. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? No, I think we are good. Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake, but I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. Okay. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, I think you can proceed. The Den? It's a star station, orbiting Wolf, the second star station actually to bear that title. The first one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. The place has always acted as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been a little more lax. Patrols included. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Okay. Let's see. Map. Whew. Right. Let's see. Let's put one on the. Let's turn. We discovered the den. Let's go ahead and board this baby. Let's see what we can do. In hot. Let's go. Ship is now docked. Perfect. All right. Let's Didn't even board. smudge the paint. Okay. Captain. Hello. I am satisfied. I understand this station was once quite the luxurious place for UC military commanders. Based on what I see, I find that very hard to believe. Okay. Looking to lodge a complaint? Then you want UC security, not the Vanguard. Oh, apologies, Captain. <coughs> Didn't recognize you without the uniform. So, what can I do for you? Orlais doesn't ring a bell. Anything you can tell me about him? Mm -hmm. A man living around Etheria, the gas giant. Only one ship like that I know of. Never docks, doesn't respond to hails. They call it the Warlock. Maybe this Orlace of yours is the one piloting it. I can give you the coordinates to its last sighted location if you want. Just, well, you'll need to be careful. Okay. A part of Ethereum Sky is an old debris field. Plenty dangerous. More than a few scrappers heading out never came back. Well, the original Den Star Station was destroyed decades ago during the Serpent's Crusade by marauding House Varun Zealots. Big part of the remains from those battles ended up gathering around Etheria, forming a nasty debris field. Every now and then, some headstrong scrapper comes limping back because they hit an 80-year-old mine. Or sometimes they don't come back at all. I honestly thought it was just a story board haulers told each other to keep themselves amused. Pretty surprised to find out he has a name. Like, finding out the Grim Reaper's named Mitch or something. <laughs> huh. Makes you wonder, though. Ships have been disappearing in those fields for years. Going theory on why was a combination of old ordnance and Etheria's gravity disappearing them. But maybe someone's been helping them over the ledge. 
things you should know? The den's not really that kind of place. This is a quiet assignment. Keep an eye out for pirates, make sure smuggling's kept to a minimum, occasional rescue job out in the debris fields. Otherwise, it's mostly long haulers and staying ready for the day the Collective wants another round, or House Varun comes back in force. Sure thing. Here, this should get you pointed in the right direction. Go get your man. All right, let's go find the warlock. <laughs> Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? I'm all ears. Right, let's see where we gotta go. All green on release. We're free to fly. Okay. Let's travel. Let's go. We're bringing a rock with us too. Cool. Oh. Right, so let's see. Okay. So we can fly around this debris a little bit. Says our thing is here. Okay. Endless boy. Oh, Destroy the ship or disable the engines. Me. Okay. out of the debris field. We are getting shot at though, so we can to see. Go. Hey, look at that. Grab drives back online. We have full propulsion. Beautiful. All right, so we, we destroyed it. What else? I saw the prompt. Let's see. Return the evidence to Vavik. That's okay, cool. We need to return the evidence. All right. It looked like we were going to get our ass kicked there for a second. Bam, land. Let's go. Yep. Subsection 7. Looks like this is going to be a place you may be going back and forth to. 
to and from. Let's see. Authorized personnel only. Your friend has to stay here. No problem. You wait here. This is kind of crazy, though. Like they faked his death and stuff. Pretty cool. Welcome back, Captain. Do you have some news for me regarding Dr. Olay's? Hmm. So he didn't come quietly then, as I suspected. I presume you have evidence of this. Excellent. Please, deposit it in the transfer system. Okay. Transfer accepted. Would you look at that? Kept it all these years. Some simply couldn't let go of that old world. Sure, the remaining team members find their way to the Red Devil's headquarters, except for one. That one you'll need to collect yourself. Okay. His name is Kaiser. You can find him on the Freestar world of Nera, wandering the battlefield there. The area was ground zero for Xeno weapon deployments during the war, so I would arm yourself appropriately. Hmm. And I think you'll want to check in with Hadrian and Dr. Walker before paying it a visit. Kaiser will likely have security protocols you'll need their help to overcome. A military Model A. Yes. Specifically customized for the needs of the Xeno Warfare team during the Colony War. A powerful resource. If you can recover him. I dedicated my life to the United Colonies. Every effort of my being to their protection. I even gave them my heirs. Even if my circumstances have changed, my purpose is not. Of course. We're protecting the galaxy, Captain. We'll need every tool at our disposal. wondered what it would be like to see these famed red devils in combat so let's go ahead and uh, check in with uh, Hadrian All right, let's report with Hadrian oh yeah that pretty cool that'd be a cool companion huh probably better than Vasco excuse us bud we're important Downstairs. Hey. What's up? Uh, kitchen here. Let's go find Hadrian. Captain, welcome back. I was afraid you might have gotten reassigned. You've been gone so long. So how's it feel to be a citizen? It should. 
You risked life and limb to earn it. You've certainly earned it. But it is real good to have you here again. We've been going through the Terramorph data and, well, we're gonna need all the help we can get. These logs, they're even more thorough than I remembered. Genetic workups, population statistics, hell, even their food chain. Okay. I'd completely forgotten, for example, that there was a creature that actually ate Terramorphs. <laughs> At this point, the data's given us more options to explore than we have people to work on them. <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't... I'm sorry, are you? You're serious. You found... our research team? That's... incredible. That accelerates... everything. With them back, it'll let us... Wait. Kaiser. Did you find Kaiser? That... That's right. You would need that. Whoever gave you these leads sure knew their stuff. Well, how? How exactly did you manage to find them? <laughs> you can't be... Oh. You are serious. Okay. No more questions. Yeah, but still... Getting Kaiser back, that gives us more than a few new paths forward on dealing with the Terramorphs. But if he's been out there on his own all this time, you're gonna need something. Come on. We've already made a lot of progress getting this place back online. Some of the containment chambers were a bit on the... unpleasant side. But the facility staff made short work of that. Yes, what? I know it's here somewhere. Uh -huh. Here, Kaiser schematics. Actuators, weapons, batteries. That old robot's been MIA for a while, so chances are he's gonna need some repairs. He's also got a lock on his voice controls. You can give yourself authorization with the phrase, Nos belli machinis. Now, where exactly is the old machine? A battlefield. On Nera? Oh, sheesh. No wonder no one's found him. That sector of Nera was destination number one for Xeno weapons during the war. Add to that general environmental devastation and the kind of lawlessness that comes with any Freestar world, and that planet's got more than enough ways to make a visit your last. But I think there's a place where you can start your search. Hmm. Yep. One of a kind salvage. Licensed to an Angelo Alonso. Goes by Gel. As good a place to start as any. Okay. Kaiser lets us do field work with a level of precision that there's really no other way to accomplish. More than a few of the options we're looking into. Detectors to uncover the Terramorph transmission method, or crafting a targeted biological agent. They require highly specific materials to test against. And asking a group of Marines to accompany us for that kind of work, well, it usually ended up with ruined samples and wounded teammates. The Colony War saw a lot of hard fighting. But Nira got it the worst. Everything the Freestar Collective and UC could muster, ground troops, Xena weapons, mechs, was hurled into the fray. Both sides hoped something would decisively turn the tide, but it never did. Yeah. When the war finally ended, 
swaths of that world were so devastated they were effectively abandoned. So what Kaiser's doing there of all places, I can only guess at. And I'll make sure we're ready to put them to use as soon as you've got them. Alright, let's rock. Yeah. I believe we have our corrosive stuff on. We're good, we're good with that. Okay, cool. We're going this one. There we go. I'm not sure if it's hostile. I'm assuming that it is. Hey, new model on the floor. Welcome to the one of a kind. Refuge and rest home for the hardest okay. scrappers anywhere. Name's Jill, proprietor. So formal. The pleasure's all mine, my good man, Angelo. Alonzo, at your service. Okay. You can call me Jill. Can I get you started on a tab then? Or are you here to try and make your fortune in the fields? I'm happy to take your credits <laughs> however you want to hike them. Yeah, I bet you are, bro. Let's see. Kaiser? Uh, no bot around here with that tag. Oh, unless you mean Captain Ahab? At least that's what we've all been calling him. No clue what his actual designation is, since he's got some sort of security protocol that prevents inquiries and general chit-chat. But he's a combat bot, right? Yeah, that machine's been out there a while now, hunting this one siren. Okay. His white whale. But it's been a while since anyone's laid eyes on Captain Ahab, though. Maybe he finally got the thing. Or it got him. Nasty kind of alien left behind after the colony war. Pretty much blind. Original ones brought to Nera were all Xeno weapons. But those critters have long since passed. But they left behind more than enough untrained babies to keep the fields plenty interesting. Moby Dick? Old art story about one Captain Ahab chasing some big fish that's bound to get him killed? No? <laughs> we all thought the name was a good fit since our bot friend was so damn busy chasing that siren of his. Quality slate, too. Think I got a copy for sale if you want to give it a look. Now we got it. That's where I recognize that insignia. Red Devils. Yeah, Ahab's definitely your bot. So, sounds like you've got two options. You can wander around out there, hunting your bot, little old white whale of your very own. Maybe you find him. Maybe you get yourself killed. But knowing this rock is part of what we do here, so if you want to find him a whole lot faster, 
I'll tell you what I know about this. Kaiser's location. Okay. Going rate's a little steep, but I'm willing to negotiate. All right, we're going to have to do that then. I mean, great for him, but that won't keep acetylene in our tanks. Sure. And honestly, would you be able to tell if a Terramorph was attacking outside? Sorry. Okay. I'm listening. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. In my experience, the right offer is always worth waiting for. Okay. Hold on. I never said that was my final offer. You didn't. I want to threaten him. I do understand. I'm trying to figure out a way to help you, okay? Okay. 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 Sweet. You made your point. I'll give you a discount. Pleasure doing business with you. So, last anyone we'll heard get more of more than him, that for finishing he this was out near the Syracuse shipwreck about a quarter click down the main strip. One of my roughnecks said he heard some kind of beacon. Just keep your ears open. You should find your machine. Eyes open too. Sirens and ecliptic out there. And neither takes prisoners. Okay. Oh, and corpse retrieval is not included in this transaction. So now you know. Give Ahab a Kaiser our best. Okay. Let's go ahead and look around real quick, see if we can find anything that's worth a bit, worth anything or useful. It's good that something of value can come from those old mechs. Sealant. It's not really worth stealing. Something sees us. Oh, it must have been the turret. See if we can get around. So 
so much time and effort into building these ships, and so quickly they come apart in the end. I heard something. she went. She's probably dead. They take these things off of them. Looks like it could definitely defend itself. Bam. Voice. Controls. Unlocked. Looks like it made, made a new friend. Attempting to error. Now we gotta go get power. A micro cell. Oh, this asshole's gonna want to sell it to what us. What can I do for you? So that's where your machine's been. Ran out of juice. Heat leeches, wasn't it? Those little stowaways are everywhere on this rock. Suck the power out of a pen light if you let them. But a micro cell. That's military grade tech. I think we might have one, but I can promise you. Bro, come on. It's not going to be cheap. You could probably Frankenstein one together using our fabrication system here, but. Only if you had some quality schematics. So, I just brace for a little sticker shock. Wouldn't have lasted real long here, doing what we do without a top-notch fabrication system. Okay. So long as you've got the specs, it should be able to handle making you a microcell. But finding materials up to the task, you're likely going to be sifting through quite a few mech hulks out there to find what you need. Though, if you think you can actually manage something like that, I'm willing to make you a okay, deal. Okay, maybe we can do that. I'll point you towards the juiciest harvest sites. Spots where you should be able to find quality parts. But in return, any excess materials you collect, you sell to me, all right? Save us from risking our necks on another run out there. What do you say? Okay. I can't give you a guarantee, but a couple of mech types use microcells to power non-critical systems, running lights, radar, that sort of stuff. All the intact microcells will be long gone, too valuable, but the parts to make one, much better chance those are still lying around. Okay. So what do you say? Sell me what you don't need, and I'll tell you where to look? Sure. Then let me just mark those collection points. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, if you can do it, we can do it. I see, let's go this way first. Is it that is said about one man's junk? There is so much junk. 
it is difficult to recall how that goes. Okay. Sound like she was running up on me like a sort of preacher. Something over there. The hell was that? Are those mines or something? What the fuck? We got EMP'd or something. That wasn't really a mine. What is that? Come then. Meet your death. Yeah, we don't be fighting those things, dude. A lot of ammo taking that out. I hope wherever you store that the smell will not be an issue. Okay. Those things aren't so bad, they're just, uh, they're over our level. That's the biggest problem. Let's see what you got here. I think there was like the, I think the dude running around shooting him was an enemy. Credits back basically. Okay. Well, let's go. Oh, this fucking thing. Probably the light. Try not to do that.
Yeah, you're fucked, bro. Cell. Craft. Something for personal use or for sale? Okay. I don't think we have much more to worry about out in the, in the field. Did I use all my ammunition on that thing? Holy crap, hold on. I don't think I used that much ammo on it, to be honest. Didn't I have like 400 rounds or something? Like Jump down, right? And here we go. Battery accepted. Operational Sweet. power levels restored. Analyzing. Residual damage detected. Impact shielding. Visual systems. Damage within acceptable limits. Thank you for your aid. I must resume my mission. Please step aside. Oh shit, I cannot determined. leave my mission. Okay. Although, previous attempts to disarm the weapon have been unsuccessful. Additional hmm. support may allow me to complete my active mission more quickly, allowing me to leave this place. My mission is the disarmament of Unit XW-99. Designation Siren. Oh, shit. Mirror's final active Xeno weapon, okay. 99, has proven a far more formidable adversary than its peers. Will you aid me with disarmament? Follow me. Let's go. That's not gonna work. Alright, well. We're gonna have to run around what we got. We don't have a ton of ammo, that's our problem right now. He's gonna have to do a lot of the heavy lifting for us. We're just gonna have to kind of support him. Probably best not to think too long about what Ecliptic will be doing with anything they salvage.
Kind of coming in hot, so I'm shooting a shotgun, try to get as much damage off this thing as possible. Where are we going, there, bud? I am detecting Unit 99, but there is a complication. Of course, there is. Unit 99 is on the other side of that reach, but it appears to be under the control of hostile forces. Okay. Sensor suggests Ecliptic, a mercenary company like Ecliptic, would only want Unit 99 to utilize it as a weapon. This means Unit 99 must be disarmed immediately. Okay. Standard procedure would be a frontal assault on the outpost. No quarter given. Do you concur? Okay. Very well. I will wait for your return. So we could probably stealth mission this. Back and get our buddy. Where's our buddy at? Talk to this guy. Let's see, do we have to put these guys out? Put the ecliptic base. Okay, cool. We do. And I told him I'd go there by myself too, which Completely turn me around. Okay, 
Okay. I can't, I can't get over there. It's not the best you can do. up on the areas I need to get to, it's the problem. Outside now? You cannot beat me. Fucking me up. That's his mother gun. Damn, that thing's hardcore, huh? Let's see. Jump up the wrong way. I need to be able to get up on this rock. Is really what I need to be able to get up on, to be honest with you. It's not letting me up on it. Oh, come on with the debris. I can't. It's not letting me jump. Come on, game. Seriously with this. Don't even let me jump, man. There he is. Is that him? No, sir. See if we can uh, kind of sneak and get him. Oh my lord. No, it ain't. No, it is not a fault. This is not letting me jump or anything. It's not letting me do anything here. There we go. Said he was right here. There you go, buddy. You're not talking out of here. Oh, it's in the rock. So let's go ahead and scavenge all these folk. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. That's a drum beat. I don't know what that is. Okay, let's take everything here. Let's scavenge the entire area here. Got have some good shit in here. Yeah, we we're getting all stuck on the rocks and stuff. It wouldn't let us move. It was just like, yeah, those are the parts in the combat. Like, it just seems like every time we get in combat, it's just the game just really want to work with us very much. To be honest, the B 
be honest. So, whatever. Some food, we don't really need that. I wish I could open that up. It'd be nice. A lot of credits right there, huh? Okay. Bam. Alright, let's get back out there. Sunburned. Okay. Huh. I can't believe it. Major Sanon, Dr. Walker. You're in better shape than I expected, Geyser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinian. Hmm. Londinian, Doctor. I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So the problem we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Come on, I'll walk you through what we're thinking. Okay, I'll do You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nira? The thing that eats terramorphs, the Asilis? Okay. Apparently, they were bloodhounds for terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the colony war, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. Hmm. Is 
If you pick a fight with one, or you're a Terramorph, sure. But Asili's were already spread across the galaxy once before during the Colony War. As livestock, they're far less of a danger than the one we're proposing to clean up. I... I suppose that's a fair comparison. Except that this time, we'd be protecting human lives, not ending them. Now, there is another option for removing the Terramorphs from our worlds. It's faster, maybe even more efficient, but riskier. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect their transmission method. Okay. It'd still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. Percival assures me that they're minimal. He'll be able to encode safeguards against mutation in the agent's genetics, so that they stick to the task of cleaning up terramorphs. Hmm. But the microscopic world has a tendency to behave in ways you can't always predict. So to say huh. there's zero risk would be a lie. Well, that's still not a hundred percent, but it sounds like the Vanguard will actually be picking up a fair bit of it. But there's no sense in hammering down those sorts of details before we've made a decision on which route we're taking. Hmm. Well, so that's tricky. Both plans are going to take major investments in time and resources. We're talking years of work, and not to mention some highly specialized materials. Okay. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Asili's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines, or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. It was the central hub for Asili's processing during the Colony War. But, and this part's exciting, the Terramorph data suggests Asili's were first found there. The planet it's on, Toleman II, was their homeworld. Meaning, there's a very good chance their prey, the Terramorphs, came from that same world. Which would also explain why no one ever suspected that planet as the Terramorph source world. The Asilis were too damn effective at cleaning them up. Additionally, it explains why once the Asilis were gone, the outbreak there was so catastrophic. Londinian could very well be where the Terramorph saga began. And the key Sounds like the microbes end. might be the way to go. Hey, let me see. It's dangerous, yes, but Kaiser, Percival, and I, we've trained for this. And you're not so green yourself. And the last thing I want right now is for the UC to stick us with some gung-ho jarhead who's going to put us and the mission at risk. Yeah. Captain, you're the reason we're all here right now. You're the person I think can help us finish it. Will you join us on this? Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, I think it's a good place to end the video. Um, 
we're obviously going to continue on with this um, and keep on going. Um, the two options, not too crazy about, not sure which direction we're going to go, but we'll figure it out. And um, yeah, glad you all can join. Um, thank you for uh, for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.